Hi everyone. So today I am doing a live on how you can create your own custom graphics using Keynote. Today's Keynote actually. Um, and I will do another one on how you can actually do the same thing with PowerPoint. But essentially, um, for some of you, you might want to create your own custom graphics and you might not be used to using like a graphic arts design program, you know, like the Adobe or Affinity or like whatever else is out there. And you want to use something simple. And I know there's Canva.com, but maybe you're not into the templates they have or into the fonts they have. So I just wanted to show you another trick that is actually kind of cool that you can use with programs that would already be built into your computer. So this one is for Mac users. Um, I can show the same trick with PowerPoint, but if you're making your own custom graphic uh, using PowerPoint or Keynote. So on today's it's Keynote. And so I'm just going to switch the camera here so you can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, if you want to create your own custom graphic, so I'm literally going to be creating it right in front of you. So right here, I'm going to say how to create your graphic. And um, let's say you have a specific font that goes with your brand. So mine is um, Aviano Sans. So that's what I would pick. Now I actually had to download that font. So if some of you aren't familiar with that process, I could probably make another video on that. But there's lots of ways you can get fonts. You can obviously purchase them. Uh, there's websites called Defont where you can get them for free. And then on a Mac, what you do is you download it and you actually add it to your font book. So that's how I got this font. So I'm actually going to reduce the size here and I'm going to reposition this. So there you see I have already um, already changed what was originally there for the graphic for the look and yeah I'm just going to kind of play around a little more um, Okay, so I like that. So you got that, right? You've added your own custom font using the internet all at once then right now. And so there's a lot of opportunity to have your organic content out there and by putting out your message. Some of you may not be comfortable with video, but you can use other formats of content as well. And this is just one of them, creating your own graphic that represents your brand. So here, back to this, so I have my image on there, I'm going to reduce it, and I'm going to put it in the middle. And I'm actually going to rearrange how I did these words again, uh, just because, yeah, just because I feel like it. Um, so I'm gonna, maybe I'll make this a little bigger. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. And then on here, if you want to ch like change the background, so I can change the background. So it matches like maybe the color of my shirt. All you have to click is this color wheel on, um, keynote. And then I can, you know, make it match my shirt. Let's say for example, and then that would make me have to probably change the color of the font, or I could do something completely different. Um, I can go into the color wheel, maybe make it bright green if I want it. You could really go about this a lot of ways. Um, I'll go with the shirt look again, just for the sake of this exercise. And 
And then I'm going to go to text here. And then when you go to text, you can again change the color here. So sometimes they give you swatches or you could use the color wheel. And that already has that. So that's great. And maybe one last thing I can add is my logo. So I'm going to drag that on here as well. And that seemed to load a lot faster. So Okay, so once you've created that graphic, what we're going to do is you go up to File. Oh, sorry. Um, actually, I'm going to correct that. <laughs> You're going to go to Share. Oh, actually, that's right. You're going to go to File, and then you're going to go Export, and then you're going to Export as Image. So right now, you have the choice of what quality, um, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, which is kind of like, you could also do animated GIF. They give you so many options on here. I'm just going to stick with JPEG. And then once, and then once it's done, you can name it. So I'm going to say how to, oh, let me go back here. I'm going to say how to create your own graphic. Own custom graphic. And there you go. So that's how you can use Keynote to create your own custom graphics. Obviously, you have so many options of how to go about it, of different graphics you can create. But essentially, just to break down what you've just seen in this video, all you have to do is create a new file. You can decide this, the size, the format of the slide. So if you want to go with like that traditional size, uh, Keynote has their own standard size. So that's four by three, but you can also go with the traditional um, widescreen size, or you can even create your own custom slide size. So that's really important because you know different social media platforms have different standards on that. Once you go from there, you can use a font that you've already previously downloaded onto your computer. So like I said, if it's a font that already goes with your branding that you already have, or if you want to just find a unique font, you can go on a website like the font. So I'll actually put that in the comments here. You can go on a website, dafont.com, and that's where you can find for free a lot of unique fonts. Once you download that right onto your computer, you will have that to go, and then you can use that in a custom graphic. So mine for, for my brand is Aviano Sans. So I changed the words with that. I used the color wheel, and I used the picker to make the, the color of the graphic match my shirt. And then I added my logo and then I went to file export and I chose images. And so that is how you can create your own custom graphics using Keynote.